Hey y'all, it's Catherine here at Indoor Kitty Cat, and it's been a while, but I'm here to play again, and I'm not alone this time. I have a guest with me, and it is actually me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bruce. I am Catherine's husband. Yes. And a lot of you probably know me. I don't know who you all are, but... But if you do know him, you know him also from Kite Cut Creations, our other channel. <laughs> so check us out over there. Shameless plug. But we are actually going to be playing a game together, and it is Baldur's, Baldur's Gate 3! 3. 3. <laughs> Yay! Game of the year, century, decade, um, I don't know. We have put in countless hours together on multiplayer. Bruce has put in more hours playing solo. I have put in a fair number of hours solo. Uh, not nearly as much as he has because he has completed honor mode. You'll notice that when you see the particular color of my dice. Yes, and mine are not golden, but we are working on an honor mode We are together. working on that, but so not here. Not here. Here, we are actually going to be playing multiplayer with our original characters for our first and still currently playing D&D campaign. Uh, Spaldez. Yes, the Spaldez. Spaldez campaign. The Spaldez campaign. And we're going to be playing a pseudo-prequel. This is not uh, canon. Yeah, non-canon pseudo-prequel, yes. <laughs> uh, for our characters that we will introduce yes. when we get there. And we'll talk some more about that in character creation. But for now, we need to get our game started. Here we go. All right, we are gonna go tactician. I'll leave it at four. Friends only, I'm ready. I'm connecting. <laughs> Let me in. You're in. Yay! You're not ready, but you're no. in. I'm ready. Launch. Here we go. Bye. I mean, I'd say this is my favorite part of the game, but every part of this game is like my favorite part of this game. Oh. Oh, body shadow. Mm -hmm. They can fly. I want every fantasy movie and show to be done like this. This style. Mocap. Mocap. CG. CG. Because it all just looks so good. And if you can invest the money into making a full film or series with this level of like, oh, it's just so good. And then you don't have the weird like uncanny valley where you have to like have like a human actor with like a centaur body or something like that, you know? You just have a whole centaur. Yeah. Just look how good Lisa looks. <laughs> Obviously, the detail level changes once you get into the game. Right, obviously, but like... But if the show could yes. look like this... Yes, Obviously, the game has to change. <laughs> I don't want it in my eye. No, no, don't do it to me. This game does some eye stuff. I don't like eye stuff. Why do you like this game? I love this game. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, don't make me, don't make me look at you. Why'd you do that to me? Oh. Ah, it's in my eye. Who are you? Who are we indeed? Ooh. No, I don't need to reset tutorials. Okay. I love how uh, they're talking about uh, that, that question of who are you? That is the Mind Flayer tadpole learning who learning you are. who you are mm -hmm. and so that's why you have this character creation of coming into here it's like yeah it's like oh okay you're a high elf you're a bard you're you know you're all these different things you're a half orc yeah well for me it's a half elf so both half something yeah we're both half uh the fun thing in our campaign when we started it um it was uh, my sister and Bruce and I, and my sister's playing a tiefling rogue, and so I was like, oh, we're all like half something technically, so it's <laughs> half elf, half orc, half demon, you know, like, 
Um, yeah, so uh, my character is Calliope. Uh, she is a half-elf bard. Uh, in our tabletop, she is in the College of Glamour. Now, they obviously don't have that in Baldur's Gate 3, so I will be playing with the most lore-friendly version for her, which would be the College of Lore, as it were. So, um, she is very known to viciously mock people to death, most famously an old lady who was sacrificing orphans to, believe it or not, mind flayers? Um, <laughs> it is remarkable of... how much of the campaign <laughs> that Lewis put together yes. wound up just being this game. Yeah, There's... but he did it first yeah. because we started this several. We started this before this was in like EA for anybody to play mm -hmm. it, so we had no idea what any of this game would yeah. be. Uh, and then we all played it, and then we're like, wait a minute, these are all the plot points that we already played in our spell Mind there's flares, there's git, there's intellect There's devours. demons. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, fun fact, Calliope is actually learning how to read gif in the tabletop. So, you know, just fun little things like that. Uh, I won't go into too much more detail about her right now, but uh, yeah, she is a half-elf. She is technically in tabletop a high half elf, but for the game I will be using wood elf because of the extra movement. So there is a little bit of strategizing when it comes to the builds because this is a computer game and not straight up tabletop mm -hmm. D&D. Absolutely. And as Daruk, he is a half orc and he's not done yet, but this is the face I'm probably going to use because I believe this is his face. Uh, and he is a barbarian. And in the tabletop, I have multi-classed him into fighter. Uh, just started doing that. Uh, and I will be doing something similar with that here today, although not today, obviously. That's later, starting at Barbarian. But um, the main difference in the build here is going to be that I'm going to be using Tiger Heart Barbarian instead of Berserker. Just because of how it functions in the game, and plus, I haven't got a chance to use Tiger Heart yet, and I think that would be fun. Yeah, so I'm just kind of picking a couple of spells. Um, Calliope usually does, you know, all the sort of evocation spells. You know, Thunder Wave, Shatter, all those very loud musical sorts of ones. Um, <laughs> uh, but for strategic purposes, I will be starting with having Launch Strider in there. Uh, as well as Healing Word. Uh, she's a thorough support character. She likes to help people out as much as she possibly can. I think I'll go, though, for a li lyre instrument for her starting instrument, though. I'm kind of interested in actually learning how to play a lyre. They're more accessible than lutes. Um, she plays hurdy gurdies and lutes and uh, pan flutes and drums, so she's actually quite versed in uh, tabletop. She'll have the background of Noble because there is some uh, history that she is actually uh, a princess. Well, not really a princess. She is <laughs> the daughter of a prince, uh, but she travels with her mother around in the bard group. Trip the lights, fantastic. Very quick backstory for Daruk as well. Uh, reason I'm choosing Outlander here. Uh, he grew up in a uh, integrated human orc society that eventually, through a natural disaster, uh, was removed. And he is, as far as he knows, so far in the tabletop campaign, uh, the sole survivor of that particular group. And so he has been spent a lot of time wandering, uh, hence the outlander here, uh, met up with Calliope through Things we'll describe as we go along, I'm sure. Uh, and they are friends. And they are only friends in the tabletop. Uh, they are only tabletop. friends. They are not romantic no. in tabletop, despite the two of us being married. We in real actually, life. it's kind of remarkable how rarely we play romantic characters in games and things like uh -huh. that. The only time we did was for my. Uh, was for a one-shot where we played two halflings, 
Sweet mm-hmm. Pea and Liam. Yeah, that's right. So, <laughs> there you Which are. Which we then played again in Baldur's Gate. Or yes. Act 3, nearing the end. Tactician. That's our, <laughs> yeah. That was our first tactician run together, actually. So, uh, that, that's a really, that was a really fun game, too. So, just selecting some skill proficiencies. I'll be taking an actor feat on one of the level ups. So, that's why I'm making certain selections here. Odd skill points are not usually a thing to be chosen unless you have a plan like that. Yeah. Um, Bai actually rolled really well for Calliope because we do rolling stats for D&D and instead of just the point allocation system mm-hmm. like here, um, which is really fun to roll for the stats. But I rolled really well <laughs> for the initial stats. And so we're at level 11. I think so, yeah. I think so. We're at level 11 in our tabletop, and right now, I have like fours and fives in literally all of them, including it's a, strength. It's like, a ridiculous. Calliope is literally a jack of all trades. It's she insane. is approaching godhood levels. It is very, very interesting. All right, we ready to move into uh, the. Yeah, actual... let me just double check some of these. Half elf. Uh, Wood half elf, extra movement. Custom. Calliope's actually damn cursed, yes. so that's why the wood half elf also. I like the faces better for Calliope in the wood half elf. I also really like with Daruk the relentless endurance, because then when you go down, you get to come back up. Yes. At one hit point. Uh, vicious mockery and friends cantrips. Um, healing word, long strider, dissonant whispers, and thunder wave. Uh, starting with a liar, background noble, which gives me history and persuasion proficiency. Very useful. And then eight strength, 16 dex, 14 con, eight intelligence, which actually yeah. ties into some plot points in, that <laughs> happened in our tabletop. We'll get to that. Uh, uh, 10 wisdom and 17 charisma right now, but I'll be going for the actor feat, which will get that up to 18, and I will get some proficiencies in performance and other stuff later at that point. Right now, I have my proficiencies in acrobatics, sleight of hand, intimidation, and I already have it in persuasion and history right now as well. So, pretty All flat right. stats at the moment. Editing appearance. Whoa. Oh, do you not want to go over your stats? I'm a barbarian. <laughs> I hit. I run. I take hits. I'm dumb. I, I have some wisdom because I, you know, met up with Calliope and that was a smart thing to do. My charisma is just nothing. Intimidation. I'm big. I'm bad. I'm not bad. I'm actually kind of nice, but I'm big. I mentioned Outlander. Barbarian. I want to hit stuff. Uh, half orc. I want to get back up. Yeah. <laughs> you will find that uh, Catherine has a lot more to say about uh, character choices and things. I've had a lot more experience being in the background and a background performer and core member and musical. So I just got to make up whatever I wanted in the ensemble. And so they were always very involved. So I felt more involved. Editing appearance. <laughs> All right. Yes, this is Daruk's face. Very clearly. He does have hair, though. Does he have hair? He has like that. He has hair. Yeah. So I'm considering, I'm considering like maybe not having Calliope's hair style as it would be in game, like tabletop, like end game, because this is her ponytail that she has in game is this. I'll go do some color choices here real quick while. Yeah. Well, what did I have for Daruk's hair? It was, um, like, it was, like, side shave with, like... Oh, it was that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Where is that? That's possible. actually be it. Oh, 
Okay, that's the one I was thinking of, and that's not it. That was Roby. Yeah. So I think it's actually. No. It was like Mohawk. Yeah, I think I had it a second ago. I think it's this one. No. No? Turn it around. No, it had like a ponytail down the back. Oh, that's a bun. Was it this one? Ooh, it might have been this one. No, it wasn't. No. I'll find it. Yep. character can pull this off. <laughs> it's true, though. I'm back to this one. The hair is always the hardest part for me. It is. Not that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we won't be this silent as we actually are, like, playing Ooh. and stuff. Ooh, this is it. This one? Yeah. There it is. Yeah. That's yeah. Like, that's like... Ooh. Hair physics. <laughs> there. Okay. All right. Now, he's not green. I don't know. I just love Calliope with her ponytail so much. <laughs> I was wondering if I should do, like, a different higher style to start with and then, like, work up to that. Maybe I go with like a shorter hair, like she's more, like she's younger and more wild, you know, mm -hmm. to start with, sort of situation. I'll do her ponytail for right now, just so I can see like the makeup and everything. Or I could do this. I kind of, you know, <laughs> I kind of have my hair curled like this right now. <laughs> oh, that's fun. She looks like Alfira. I was gonna say, isn't that the Alfira? <laughs> that's Alfira's that? hair. <laughs> Uh, also, uh, that other tiefling. If this is your first time watching, sorry, there will be, um, or <laughs> some, seeing this some game, spoilers. or there are some spoilers. None of this means anything yet. We'll try not to do too many. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have played, I have over 800 hours. About approaching 900. I think. Yeah, he's like 200 ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I don't have any of this to start for sure. Uh, piercings. That's what it was. You know, I'm gonna wait on piercings. Grow into this. <laughs> Leave some decisions for later. Always eyeliner. Always eyeliner. Always. Everyone should wear eyeliner. <laughs> I like these for her. Barovia fangs. Yeah, that's good. That's good. More of a deeper color here. Okay, there, something like that. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> what color? I know what color eyes she has, but like, I'm trying to find which is the right color for her. Okay. It's the hair. He doesn't have any facial hair. His eyes are blue, and they're blue. Pretty much the default orc. The default half orc, rather, is the rook. Yeah. Which which eye color do you like better for Calliope, real quick? Do you like purple three? 
four, draw a purple one. Purple three. Purple three? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Pops more. Let's see. Oh, here. That's right. All right, boys, here we go. Where to next? No. <laughs> Let's hope the locals are friendly. Be wary. This place is trapped. Oh, come on, Oh, kind of like a big dumb down here. Clippy. <laughs> More of those wretched things. Which they don't There's have any magic. deep Keeping this dumb chest voices sealed. on I can here. They're all very all posh. Yeah. Voices. But there's some voices that are kind of down. Yeah. Where to next? Where to next? Hmm. Hmm. What was that? Let's what was that? The locals. I can't hear there. any of the voices like I usually am able to, so I We're can't help you. It. Yeah, no, I know. So it's it's this one. It's voice seven. It's voice seven. Yeah, you could listen to voice seven over there. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's funny. I think when we're playing this game multiplayer, we typically can hear both of the sounds, like the sound for both computers. Because we just have other. it. Yeah, we at one point we tried doing headphones and uh, and just talking to each other next to each other over Discord. It just was too min too much for the yeah. fact that we were right here. We just got used to hearing sound sound and hearing the music kind of overlapping a little bit. Yeah, we didn't need to have it be... And we got used to, like, turning down our volume and just, like, um, you know, waiting to catch up and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it was just easier at that point to just do it that way. So Absolutely. All right. One thing I'm going to mention right now because of one of the options that's shown up on the screen. Oh, yes. Um, this game contains nudity. Uh, it does not contain it all the time. Uh, there are specific scenes. Of course, it can contain it at any time if you just take their clothes off, which we don't plan to do. No. Um, however, there is nudity in specific scenes, uh, and we will be sure when that comes up to put something up on the screen probably mention in the description top of the episode whatever we can do but we will be able to warn ahead of time yes uh that being said uh we will be probably cutting out this selection when we get to it but we will be you know mm -hmm. selecting their parts as it were <laughs> we will be cutting that out of this video since it's not important to show that and you very rarely see them anyway so uh you don't need to know you don't need to know what's in their pants okay okay only we get to know that. only we get to know <laughs> oh glyby is uh a female uh she her um she oh, yeah. is uh she is technically bisexual um and uh yeah but she is a demi bard. She's not like sleep with everybody sort of bard. So, just FYI. <laughs> uh, Daruk, he, him, uh, probably straight. Certainly have played him that way in both tabletop and in Baldur's Gate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Part of me is wondering, should I go with a little lighter makeup to start with? Or do I go with just her usual? It's just so powerful. It's just so powerful. I just love it. <laughs> I will start with her hair a little more soft and down, though, I think. Yeah, that's good. I think that's fun. I like that hairstyle. I think her. that's fun. Let's see here. I'll listen to voice number seven real quick. I do feel like that's what you picked before. I think it is, yeah. None of the other ones really fit. Yeah. Yeah, that's Calliope's voice. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. I can feel its aura. Hells. Now, obviously, we don't play with Something British accents at tabletop, but, you know. <laughs> Hells. Something just woke up down here. <laughs> okay, I need to lighten her freckles. I... <laughs> Hells. Glory be. 
That's how I get into the direct voice, is by <laughs> saying Calliope. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Yeah, so Calliope's mother is human, her father is high elf, he's a moon elf. Um, her mother's a bard, her father... Oh, he does some sort of magic. I haven't decided yet. I haven't, like, met him in the game yet. But yeah, but her mom is actual a legit bard as well, so... Uh, yeah, so that's where she's learned how to be a bard is from her mother. Yeah. I like these earrings for her this time. Hmm. Or should I... No, oh, wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. This stuff is very important to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, should I actually start with... Like fewer piercings, and then increase and from then there. increase them. Yeah, yeah. I, I think will, that's a good idea. I will start with the tattoo, though. I feel like she would have gotten that like before this, like because mm. he's a little more wild and wild and free and loose. And, yeah. Had her party girl days. <laughs> Don't know what that's like. <laughs> okay. All right. Are you? Is he? Is Dirk gonna start with the tattoo or? Uh, he, didn't he have that big, like, swirling tattoo on his he face? He did. I feel like he would get that at this point, somewhere during this. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I think he'll get some, some piercings. I think he'll get a tattoo. Great. Maybe he'll change his hair. Excellent. You don't want to start with, like, a different, like, a shorter hairstyle and have it grow out, or? Uh, well, actually, now that you mention that. Go since that's more like end game to Rook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're giving we'll, you kind we'll of like ideas of how end game is gonna go so that you can kind of <laughs> see their growth and evolution. Um, we love these characters, they're you know, they're second nature to us. Uh, so we'll be playing this game like they're experiencing all of it for the first time. Like, we have strategies, we know how things will go. But as much as possible, we will be making the decisions as Calliope and Daruk. They will not be Catherine and Bruce. I played this game for, you know, 800 to 1100 hours. And, you know, <laughs> can make all these decisions based on what they know. So we'll have strategies, obviously, because we know. But we won't be, there will not be any cheesing. Um, there will not be a lot of cheesing. No, there won't be a <laughs> lot of cheesing. Um, if we want to, we will, we will save scum if yeah, we want to. If there's things we really want to be able to do. For certain story beats. Just because. We know we can get through the game. Yes. This is not about can we get through this game. Yeah. And, uh, with, uh, our first playthrough, which was actually with Clive and Dura, mm -hmm. we only save scummed one, th for two things. Two things. One. Originally, Calliope was going to Romance Scale in our first playthrough, <laughs> but we did not give him enough magical items because we did not know the consequences. He ran off. We yeah. did not save Scum to have him back, so we finished our first playthrough without Gale, and I was very sad about that. Mm -hmm. So then I romanced Astarian, and it was going great, except someone wanted something that I'm not going to say, and it yeah. nearly ruined our relationship. So we saved scum so it would not very nearly ruin our relationship. <laughs> uh, like, we can't allow this to stand. No, no, no. no, no. I'm like, Durek wanted this, not Calliope. That's not fair. That was him <laughs> metagaming at yeah, that point. So, uh, so we saved scum for that. Uh, the other thing was that we missed a bunch in Act 3, and we did not want to miss a bunch in Act 3 for our first playthrough. Mm -hmm. Because it, it literally cut out, like, a quarter of Act 3 for us mm -hmm. at that point. So we went back like two hours, I think. Mm -hmm. Totally worth it. Um, it really was. But we did not save scum any of our choices or things like that, really, beyond mm -hmm. that. So uh, we are here to play the game for the story purposes. So. And the combat. Yeah. Both. Yes, we do like Because you can that. play this game for both. Yes, you can. It's you can play it with both, it. and we do like both. All right, Daruk. You, like right. you like his hair to start? Yeah. yeah. Kind of looks, it's like Bowie-esque. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's Neil Newbone's character. Yeah, yeah. Um, that he's been playing yeah. on his stream with his friend Tom Multiplayer, so. As we're calling out inspirational people, um, 
Cephalopocalypse. Yes. For uh, builds. I've watched tons of his videos, and both of our builds are going to be following... Uh, two of his builds. Two of his builds. And we'll probably be utilizing some of his uh, builds for companions. Yeah, for companions like as well, too. definitely. So. Ooh, yeah. I love what, like, this build's going to be great. I, I love what this build's going to be, but there's this other build that I just, I love it every time. Every time. Yeah. It, it's a really good build. All right. Okay. Are we ready to proceed? We are ready to proceed. To Guardian Creation. Yes. I mean... Oh, oh, right. Name naming. first. Daruk. And uh, so you know his full name. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I can even get Calliope. Oh, I can get Calliope's full name. <laughs> Sweet. Nice. I don't know if we want their full names in there. No, because then you got to read them each time. Yeah, but However, here are here, Calliope Silverdance is Calliope's full name. And here we have Daruk Knight. Yes. It is a pun. Yes, it is. Which I got an inspiration for during the tabletop campaign. Several sessions in, when the DM finally realized that it was a pun. Yes. It was like, here's an inspiration, that's awesome. Say his name several times out loud. The Rook Knight. But say it in a gruff voice. The Rook Knight. Say it again. I'm the Rook Knight. Do you get it? The Rook. Get it? Knight. Get it? I am the Dark Knight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, moving on. I mean, proceeding. Proceeding. Uh, Calliope ended up being an accidental kind of self-insert into the tabletop because she's like the best version of me. The version I would want to be. So, anyway, that's why Calliope is with a K. I missed. Proceeding. She's long. We have this idea that we want our guardians to be the same. I'll, I'll basically be creating like a guardian situation and telling Bruce what to do. So we'll go with human and body type number four, I think. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oosh. Yeah. So uh, for it, this to work, and we have the reason, we want to have the same guardian voice um, for the game, because sometimes you will hear the guardian's voice and stuff like that. Uh, so we wanted that to be the same, and then the line deliveries are the same as well. We have a plan. We have plans for the cutscenes. Um, <laughs> okay. Alright. Let's pick out a head. What head do we like? Here, let's take the facial hair off for a yeah. moment. Okay. Alright. Head one. I think that's the head you use for a Neander. Oh no. <laughs> okay, head two. Yeah. Head three. Sounds like head four. I was about to say four has potential. Yeah. Okay, head five. Head six. Head seven. I'm thinking head four. I agree. Okay. It's got that kind of regal, yeah. famous look to yes. it. Yes. Okay. Uh, he definitely needs a scar or something. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there's scar t one, technically. Scar one, epic. Okay. Scar two, I feel like might be too much. Yeah. Scar three. I'm, those scars are always dashing. I'm already... Nah, it's one. Yeah, I think it's one. It's that feels the one. most right. Especially because we have a character in mind. We're not going to say who it is. But mm. just know that this would be someone Daruk and both Daruk and Calliope would know from stories. And legend. And when the time and comes. And song. And song. And poetry. Everything. And he's very heroic. Very mm. important. And important to this game, technically. Absolutely. So. Maturity. All right. Uh, we'll want him to be a little mature. Super I think. old. He's 100 years old. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, Around 50. go down to 40. Yeah, 40's good. I think I like 40. Alright, I think he should have put Frankel intensity at 50 for right now, just so that we can see. Because I feel like he would have Freckles being an adventurer and stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. um, Out in the sun. Yeah. 
50-50, quantity and intensity? Or do we want more one way or the other? Yeah, that's solid. Yeah. I like that. It's, it's there, but it's not like there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't think he needs a bit of Lego. No. Body art. Let's see here. He needs a tattoo. Not that one. Ooh, I do like the knife one, but you don't see it very well in this armor. Yeah. I think that one would be the most fitting, but... But it doesn't really show up. Yeah. <laughs> the center cheekbone goes right across the scar. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Which one did you just click on? The uh, Mask of Wrath. Where's that one? Near the bottom. A couple rows up. Down, right. Oh, <laughs> woo! That's that's a bit intense. That is a bit intense. Ooh. Centipedes. <laughs> ah, not this one. No, not that one. For specific reasons. <laughs> Shriek mask. <laughs> oh, that's not the vibe. I'm kind of digging Mechanus moves. Yeah, I saw that. I was looking at it. It's for me. My 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 two choices are Me Mechanus Moon, uh -huh. Mechanus, Mechanus, and Center Cheekbone. Center Cheekbone. Where's that one? Uh, one, two, three, four down from the top, far right. There's also Strong Arm Syndicate, which is uh, over his eyebrow. Those are my three choices. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I'm liking the sort of irony of having the, uh, the cheek tattoo and then getting a scar right over it. <laughs> right? Yeah. I'm liking that. Okay. Um... The red one looks pretty cool, I think. I like doing different colors. Right? Red. It's like right in the middle. Red one. Red one. It's just dark. It is the same. <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> this is where Bruce does not see color like I do. It is the same. It's it's dark, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's, it's the same. Okay. All right, uh, piercings. You can't have lapis fed muffin. Mm. Nah, that's yours. It's currently Taliafis. I don't think you can have some doer loops either. Ooh, you could have the Crimson Hilt Dirks. Ooh, you were talking about the knife. Yeah, uh, where that we get the, the sword. That brings the knife in and you yeah. can see it. Yeah, yeah. So I love the sword tattoo because it's like a broken sword, so it looks like an oath broken paladin situation, which is really cool. But you so. have to go with a really low cut yeah. set and you can't control the clothing for the yeah. guardian. No, so. Okay. What? Hair. Let's go to hair color. Yeah. Um. I feel like. I feel like he's kind of a do you think he would be kind of like a ginger? Could be. Yeah. Could be. There's no like reference photo for this character, so. <laughs> well, they're only fan art stuff, so. And we're taking creative liberties. Oh, yes. Um, check out Ginger 3. The one that I was already on? Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's decided. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> I literally had worked my way to that. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Uh, I, mean, I don't know what the hairstyle. But... Right, and and we will have to adjust like highlights and such once we you know pick on the hairstyle because it changes for all of the. Yeah. The hair. <coughs> A high version of the rooks. 
<laughs> okay. No, literally only one character can pull this off. Yeah. Right. That's Persephone. <laughs> that wasn't Persephone. That wasn't? That's oh, my no, self-insert it's, character. It's the self-insert. It's the Catherine character. Yes, we are doing an unabashed playthrough of Bruce and Catherine in Faerun. That is fun. Are we as faithfully as possible, with no mods, recreated ourselves? Yes. Hmm. What do you think of Twisted Sinister? It is... Five up from the bottom. Up from the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. And then second from left. The other one would be the mm -hmm. Sorcha Curls, which is two up from there and then one over to the left. Sorcha curls? Yeah. What do you think? How does the Lithium yeah. fan look? Bummer with the Sorcha curls, it covers up the. Uh, the, yeah. Okay, hang on. The, uh, the Elysium fan? Yeah. That's it's, a little more put together. Yeah. Is there one kind of like that that's a little more. Oh. Uh, I don't like the flaunting bags. It's the same as the Elysium fan, just has some uh, oh, That curtains. covers all of the yeah. earrings. Uh, it's the flaunting bounce. I think you mentioned that one. There is Savant, but that doesn't like... I mean, that could work. <laughs> the Ramhorn Cascade. Can't be Water Havian Scholar, that's the answer. Yeah. Some characters can wear multiple hairstyles, but some it's just like. too much like the other. Hey. It's all fear. It's all fear. <laughs> Selection of hair, it's riveting, I know. <laughs> ah, no, he looks like he's gonna sell you car insurance. Kolga? Kolga. Alright. Alright, I think it has to be either Sorcha of Curls or Twisted Sinister. I was gonna say Flaunting Gods. Uh... Or the Elysium fan. That's Elysium, Elysium fan. Fan song. Bummer with Guardian, you can't change. Yeah, I'm feeling the Elysium fan. Okay. Because it's it's more put together than the other ones. And I feel like this is a put together guy. Okie dokie. We'll do Elysium fan. Alright. Ginger 3. Highlights. I bumped it up to 60 just so I could see. Whoa! No. At least we're Purple. somewhere in the lighting. We'll always see them in, so well, that's yeah. good. Red. Try the orange three or orange five. Orange five's got something to it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe not up to 60, though. Uh, bump it down to 50, then. Not to 50! <laughs> to 50! <laughs> that wasn't even anything. <laughs> it was, was almost a reference. Mine was a reference. I don't know if this is a reference. <laughs> Like, not to 50. Humperdinck's like, yes to 50! 
I'm the king. I do what I want. Well, the prince. We want grain. What? What color? Grain. Yeah. Gold blown too. It's way at the bottom. Last last possible option. Ooh, that's better than just wheat. Yeah. Takes well, out what was starting to look kind of like tiger stripes. Yes. Well, see, people with other colors of hair, their hair doesn't just go white immediately. What are you referring to? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna check real quick. Still recording. Okay. Still recording here. Still recording here. 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 Okay. Great. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. So gold blonde two. What intensity? I like do gold blonde two. Let's bring it down to forty. I would say. I want. I just needed it up higher so I could actually see the colors. You know. Do you think forty is good? Forty should be fine. Okay. All right. Michelle hair. I don't know if he would have facial hair. Done. Now oh, he's just Gimli. Ooh, try the Charming Devil, top row, far right. What? Why does that kind of work? Yeah, right? Why, do, why does that kind of work? It's like, because the problem I have with the facial hair now is... He's a pirate. A lot of them look kind of patchy, like yeah. this roguish one. It looks like patchy, like right here mm -hmm. next to the ear, and it's kind of bothers me. But this charming devil, I do like that. Something too bad. Okay, sweet. All right. Nice. How have so, we ever used that one? I know. I haven't either. Good All luck, right. he says. Remarkable. All right. Remarkable. Truly. Good luck. Oh, eyes. Good we luck. haven't picked out eyes. Oh, yeah. I keep trying to scroll in to zoom farther. <laughs> and it's like, that's all in. This is out. It's in. Eyes. Same color as Durham. Thick and green. Green? Interesting. Yeah. I love green eyes and red hair. Green six, where it's almost blue again. <laughs> Those are the eyes I use for Persephone. The one mm -hmm. you keep saying I use the, the little buns and piggy tails for. Those are pretty cool. I do like those eyes. Green six? I do like them, but I don't know if they're right for him. Yeah. Persephone was my druid of spores. Purple. I'm thinking... Three or five? In the green? Yes. So the three has the, the dark rim around it that's kind of lighter mm -hmm. around the pupil, but then the five has a more saturated green. Oh, there are also some emeralds. Emeralds? Oh, with the all eye colors. Ooh. Ah, so many choices. Whoa. Um, six from the bottom. Uh, not tech, counting the. Five, six. Yeah, emerald three. Literally, it's on emerald. Yeah. Three. Ooh, that's that one's really cool. Too. I oh, think I like that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why not be fantasy with it? That's the happy medium between green five and three, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but like then exaggerated a little bit. Yes. Okay. Because fantasy. Fantasy. Magic is real. <laughs> Gods are real. Everything is real. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I think he fits 
who we have in mind mm -hmm. quite agree. well. I agree. And I think he works as a guardian for Calliope and Durek. I think they would both take him seriously. Be inspired by him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, definitely. All right. <sighs> you ready, Calliope? <sighs> I'm ready. Are you ready, Derek? Yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Venture for it. We just had a tadpole put into our eye, and now it's in our brain. Calliope! Derek! Where are you? <laughs> Ugh, my eye really hurts. And I have a headache. Two. All right, so that's capturing people. Oh, yep. Everyone caught. Oh, that's a dead man. I think so. Dragons! Oh my goodness! <laughs> it's the Kid Yankee. <sighs> Pursuing the Olympic Nautiloid. Nautiloid. <laughs> when we first started playing the game. <laughs> oh, my arm. <laughs> I psychically smack you. <laughs> Avatar. <laughs> Are there? We haven't been to any yet. <laughs> ah! in this trailer. I mean, I love her in the game, too, but, like... Mm. He's those butt! <laughs> we very rarely skip the, the opening. intro cutscene. Yeah. Yeah. I think we skipped it like maybe twice. <laughs> if you know how many playthroughs we've had. Oh, so many. <gasps> it's me. Oh. Oh. Oh, 
Rook. Are you here? You're here. <laughs> We're here. Okay. But where is? Okay. Well. Um. Are we in hell? <laughs> uh. Who knows? I mean, the hells. Aren't there more than one? I think it's the hells. Okay. Well, no time to waste. Oh, I found some onyx. I found a gem. This will be useful later, probably. Yes. Ew, slimy chest. I found gold and an arrow. You can find a rapier for me, that would be great. Because I have a head crossbow. Hmm. Alright. You find anything else to rook up there? Interesting oh, some gold. Not useful here, but I'm sure it will be useful in the future. Possibly. Okay. I've got my health potions. Alright. Druk. What is this? Is that. Oh, this. This is, uh, this is a thing. This is the pool that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. I don't want to think about that. Right. Going to investigate the pool. What the heck is this thing? No idea. Truck. I don't know. <laughs> this is the thing. You notice nothing more than meets the eye. Yeah. Okay. Truck is so hairy. I feel like I should touch that. Why would you touch it? I'm gonna touch it. Druk, oh, don't oh. Ow! Shit. Ouch, that really hurt. I touched it. <laughs> uh, My goodness. What's this, what this glowy thing? I'll touch that too. Oh, Druk, no. I'm touching you should it. Touch. I feel oh. better. Well, for I once, feel better. you touched something that didn't hurt us. <laughs> <laughs> that was useful. All right, well, um. I'll I guess, touch this. Uh, okay, fine. I don't mind. You can, you can poke the sphincter. It's, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I I hear something. What was this? Images of goblins, their habits and histories flash into your mind. Oh, A thousand too. years of humanoid history, elves, dwarves, humans, and more flash behind your eyes. Huh. You know a lot about a lot of things now. Yeah. I'm gonna poke this. Hopefully, it won't drop us down. Oh, okay. We're in it together. <laughs> Is it like an elevator? What's this? Okay. Um. Ew. Mm. Safe. Oh, it twitched. Mm -mm. <laughs> Come to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please. Before they return. They return. Who am I talking to? A man or a brain? A newborn. Born new from this husk. You know no creature like this. One that is more brain than person. That makes sense. <laughs> mm. I think... Wait, is that afraid? Why? The enemy! So many enemies! Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think you're past the point of saving. Tell me what to do. Remove us from this body! From this case. Free us. Please. Okay. Should we uh, kill it? No. I'm going to investigate and see if I can dice anything. I could hit it with my axe. No, that's a nat one. That makes sense. Yep. Apart from this strange context, you notice nothing unusual about the brain. Okay. I noticed the wiggling. Lots of wiggling. Well, let's see if I can prize the brain from the skull. You're going to stick your hands in there and take that brain out? That's the plan. Okay. Nope, not the plan. 
All right. Why do you want to get that brain out of there? I don't know. I have a good feeling about it. Goo. Yeah. Hands are covered in brain. So much goo. The brain won't budge. Druk. What? You try. Me? Yes. You're strong. Yeah. My hands covered in brain goo. Yes. Please. Before they return. They return. All right, I guess. Ugh. Oh, I can give you bardic inspiration. Yeah, you could bardically inspire yourself, no. though. You can do it, Druk. Do I have to do it, Calliope? Yes. Okay. Oh, you didn't even need yeah. it. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> but if I hadn't, I would have missed. You would have missed. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. <laughs> For gentle pricing fails. You just hit it. <laughs> I gotta smash it. <laughs> the brain there. lifts from the That's skull. That's how you do it. But you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove Don't. a threat. Don't you dare. I could. Don't you dare. Uh, but I guess Don't you dare. It'd be real easy. Don't you dare. All right, fine. We don't know what it is. It's a brain. Yes. What the? It's a brain with tentacles and legs. Oh boy. Right. Our freedom is ours, friend. The creature pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm. But the helm, we are needed. The helm. I told you we were on a ship. You did know that. Oh, I thought we were on a boat. Well, no, like, it's a space boat. Does that mean there's a port and a starboard? Yes. Starboard would be more literal, wouldn't it? Because it's a space boat. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Let's see. What shall we call it? You want me to ask the brain what its name is? Yes, it's nice. It's polite. Okay. <laughs> We are us. You, us? Us. They are us. That's not gonna be confusing at all. But what's up the help? Okay. The brain tenses, as though querying an unseen advisor. Do you not hear it? No. We will not survive here. Oh. We are needed to navigate. We are needed to leave this realm. You want me to navigate? You want me to drive the boat? <laughs> we gotta navigate. Oh, okay. Why not? Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Where we go? We're going to the home. We are going to the home. We're going to the home. We're going to the home. I love this Is little this thing. Is this thing gonna follow me now? I wish I could have it. Uh, best be on my way. Uh, Clappy, it's following me. <sighs> We're so sad. Clappy, it won't stop following me. Yes, we are going to the home with it. It thinks I'm its friend. Reaches into your mind. Ah, it's reaching into my mind, it's yours. Something inside you squirms in recognition. Friend, we will go to the helm now. So, um, maybe you know something about what was put in my eye. What was it? A gift. A gift to make you as we are. Soon you will be so beautiful. So powerful. Well, I'm already one of those things. Beautiful? Sure. <laughs> to know you. To love you. To give you our gift. So uh, I'm, oh, I'm here for, so you can put a thing in my... Okay, that's useful. Yeah. Where is here? In a realm <laughs> where we have fled. We have fled to a realm called Avernus. First of the nine hells. Told you we were in hell. We are escaping a great evil. By going to hell? I feel like that's where you go to find great evil. Right? Uh. We are going to the hell! We know. My friend and I are 
going to the home. <laughs> You've been told. All right. All right. Yes, we're going can, to the helm. We need to go to the helm. Well, let's go. Oh, oh, wait, wait up. What? Wait up. Oh, we're going. Brook, you're shooting too fast. I didn't I know. know you were that fast. I'm a half orc. Why am I in a cutscene? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're both there. Yay. Danger sense. Ah. Whoa, that's so cool with the dragon above hand. <laughs> well, she. This is your end. I am. I am. You had throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. <sighs> My head. What is this? <sighs> Squaw. Skin on thrall. Blacketh blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Oh, oh cool. <laughs> Wait, you called me Thrall. My, 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 did you think my name was Thrall? We carry mind flayer parasites. Oh, thrall. Unless we escape, oh, okay. unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be geich, mind flayers. Oof. Oh no! We're turning into mind players. There's got to be something we can do. We can do nothing until we escape. That there. must be our priority. Yeah. First, we oh. exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. Makes sense. As for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. If we don't tell it that we're not thralls. Right? I think she's speaking kind of loudly around them. It? It? Them? them? That's us. They said we are us. We are us. I mean, That's they're, they. both, they're both singular and plural they at the same time. All right. All right. Whew. Well, Lisa will lead the charge. I will not know failure. You're right. You won't know failure. Here we go. Dull moment. You also will not Sweet. know failure. Excellent. Oh, push your speed. Uh, I can't quite get. Can I? I can jump. I can jump for it. Great. Yep. Well, I don't know failure, but I, I don't know as strong a success as the rest. Of it. <laughs> oh, I got that with just my little hand cross, though. dodging. Okay. Nice. Excellent. Can't even catch my breath. This one's mine. All right. It's done. Yay! You killed you one. Yay! You killed one. <laughs> Pokey glory thing. That's good. <laughs> Ship won't be able to take another dragon attack. We need to get out before it's too late. Ah, yes, rapier. Nice. This way they'll have a long distance range weapon. Uh, she will now. Oh, action, not reaction. Seven, two, nine. Light crossbow. And let's see. Is there a weapon that's better for her? Yeah, I have right. axes. Do you have want axes. to throw anything to Brooke? Maybe. I'll give you a hand axe. I've got five, four of them. Okay. 
We shall see. Repositioning. All right. Are you up here? I don't want to stop so I want to be the rock. <laughs> Get up here. I don't want to be someone else. I want to be me. Okay, I'm poking the sphincter. Sphincter! is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. There should be a latch. It should be obvious. <laughs> I'll go look around. There must be a way to get this thing open. Contraption next to the pod. They did something to it when they sealed me in. Hurry! Please! Okay. Contraption. Contraption. I'll look at the contraption now. I'll see if there's anything useful. Oh. The console appears dormant. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first. But then you spy an empty socket. Okay. Hit it. Why would I hit it? There's an empty socket. But you can hit it if you want to. You can hit it. You can hit it. The console appears dormant. We hit it. Nothing. Eight images. The console remains mind. dormant. A brain, a Gip Yankee warrior, and centuries of darkness. I think you hit it. I did. Alright, am I poking the sphincter? Stop playing with the sphincter. I'm not playing with it. Okay. I'm gonna. You check that body for anything. I'm gonna look How over here. Don't infected. touch anything. Okay. Other than... uh, scimitar. Nikolai B. Oh, I think I found something. Oh, good. All right. There's uh, someone else here, too. Oh, yeah. A dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. There's another... There's one of those things over here. Is there something to put the thing in? Maybe. Here, I'll 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 see if this socket will go in here too. Alright. Okay. Alright. As you no place socket, your hand but on I can the put pod, my hand here. Here is something. A presence connected to the pod. Commanding the person inside to change. That's not good. Um. Oh. Hi, B. Oh no. That escalated so quickly. That cannot be our fate. That happened really fast. Okay, 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 okay. The other one, we've got a thing, right? We have a thing. If we have a rune to go in a socket. Maybe the rune right. will change. See if you can open up. Let's see if we can open up this chest over here. Priorities. Why do move it first? Why do you move it? <laughs> Drek, stop moving it away from me. <laughs> I want the chest. You want the chest? It's, it's mine. empty. Ha. Huh. Okay. Come on! Get me out of this thing! Okay. I found some sort of key it might for you. Try using it on my machine player. next to me. Hurry! Please! Yes, yes, yes. I understand the panic. Ours broke open. <laughs> the console appears dormant. All right. Rune into the socket. Here we go. The console hums to life. But what is its purpose? Will it free the captain or transform her like that other unfortunate? We're good at Arcana yet, but. Nope, no, you're not. It just slipped. It was there, and then it just 
slipped out of my brain. I like I know I've read it somewhere. Nothing in the appearance of the device <sighs> betrays its purpose. It could do anything. It could even transform the occupant of the pod, like what happened before. Worth it. This one's gotta be different. Suddenly, you feel it looks different. It's red and glowing. The other one was blue. Oh yeah. The parasite. Then oh. discomfort fades. This is and definitely another different. sensation washes over you. Maybe red is good. Connection. Authority. Hmm. Nat 20. There you go. First Nat 20 of the game. I got the first Nat 1 and the first Nat 20. <laughs> <laughs> On the Nautilus. You feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command and yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. <laughs> Thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your You're mind welcome. lurches into her <laughs> thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness because you have a gift with you. Where? You keep oh, dangerous company. <laughs> yeah. We do. I don't see anyone. I just see a knocked out person behind me. <laughs> dangerous invisible company. <laughs> That's why they're dangerous. Oh yeah, it's they like can predator, just, just be invisible you know. sometimes. <laughs> Dangerous companies, what you need in a fight. Fair point. Looks like there's plenty of fighting ahead. Mm -hmm. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Okay. Um, let's get going. I'm Calliope. Shadowheart. One moment. The rook. That. It's nothing. Trust me. There's no time to spare. Lead the way. Okay. Let's see here. Alright, so we're here. Don't know what this says. Don't this says aggression. You. This says annihilate. Does Lazelle know? Lazelle, you look. Aggression. Another mystery. Unleash. 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 Aggression Unleash. and annihilate. Can't give up now. I mean... What should, what should we do? I don't know. I feel like Unleash will release them, right? I think. And we don't want them to be like... Well, what if they're trapped like the other people with this wall? in his eyes. Yeah, but he like, seems I see. totally unaware of his surroundings. See? I think this might release them. Yeah, you know? We better do that. Be free. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's okay. unleash. That's aggression. That's annihilate. Okay. Uh, unleash. Unleash, I think. Psionic energy radiates from the prisoners, but they do not react. Hmm. Need a more aggressive approach. Aggression. What? Direct? No. No. Oh, they have a. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not an aggressive, aggressive approach. I aggressively pushed the button. I they thought it then, was an instruction for how to. They push then have the aggression. Button. They have aggression. Well, okay. They have aggression. We have aggression back. Here we go. <laughs> I failed. You have aggression. Not that much. Direct. Okay. <laughs> I will strike you down, apparently. <laughs> Nicely done, Clay B. Thank you. I mean, you can't hit them all, so... No. Well, I can't hit them all, is what I meant. Ooh, shut a heart. Nice. Nice. She would have taken it down in one. Absolutely. Uh, seven hit points. I mean... It looked like that would have been the equivalent of like seven if there was like a scale of sensor to keep track of these things. 
Sphincters! Okay. Um, need to see Shadowheart. Yeah, let's give her. She doesn't have a ranged weapon. Okay, she can use Light Cross though. Very useful. Very useful. Okay. I have the elaborate reliquary for no reason. <laughs> so that you like to hold on to that. How much farther can I go? Much, much farther. So many hours. So much farther. All right. Well, here we are. What's this? Mind Flayer Horticulture. Mind Flayer Horticulture. That's all that is. That's all that is. <laughs> okay. All right, where are we going? We're nearing oh. the helm. Once okay. inside, do as I say. Um, okay. All right, let me talk to Shadow. Something the matter? Besides the obvious, that is. Mm. We're in the hells. Yeah. Shadow Hut, unusual name. Pondering my name won't get us off this ship. Let's stow the small talk until we're safe, shall we? Any suggestions for how to proceed? Well, jumping overboard is hardly an option. So that leaves us with taking control of this ship. Provided we can figure out how to do that, of course. Of course. Well, let's keep going. I'm right behind you. Well, right now you're kind of in front of me, but you're awfully close to Lazel too, so that's interesting. <sighs> Ready? Here we go. Sphincter. Sphincter. We're ready to enter the helm. Hey, I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I want that. Maybe we can get it. We'll figure out a way. Oh, these imps are no joke. Draw. Connect the nerves of the transponder. We must escape. Now. My name is not Thrall. Do it. We will deal with the Geek after we escape. I don't know why everyone thinks that. Connect the nerves. Nerves. We will connect them. We will connect them. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I want that sword. Fuck. Okay. Nothing that is like to back over the amp. That's not nice. done. Another fight. Let's go. Ooh, more shiny barrels. Something. Dash. Barrel. He's gone. Right. Best be on my way. Go over to this dead thrall. I will ascend. See if there's anything interesting. Yeah, they're all dead. Oh, he saved. Oh, I need that sword. Okay. Just grabbing those few things. They're there. Don't mind me. Okay. We'll run this way. Okay. All right. Come over here. Okay. Light on my feet. Get around behind him a little bit. And I'm gonna rage. Gonna see. See what? If Shadowheart can command him. To drop the sword. Ooh, I want it. I want it. I want it. <gasps> Give it to Dropped. me. Give it. Give it. Did you get it? I get it. 
You have to oh, pop it towards you. It. There you go. Did you get it? it? I got it. I got the sword. You got the sword. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. All right. Screw attacking him. I equip the sword. Oh. Nice. One hit point. Nice job, Lizel. Hey. You'll take the transponder. I'm taking the boss. Oh, I missed. He's really hard to hit, guys. Yes, he is. He's dazed. No longer has reactions, I think. That's great. Disadvantage of wisdom saves. Can't take reactions. Loses dexterity bonus to their armor class. And then here's Calliope just running about. <laughs> grabbing things, because, you know, you never know. Calliope, what are you doing? Looting. Oh, well, I guess we're probably not going to make it back here. You didn't know failure, Lizzo. And losing his dexterity bonus to armor class has done a lot. Yeah. Drops him down an AC of 16. Man, I had we had a good run where Shadowheart was she just landed every single sacred flame but one. It was insane. It was so great. Yes. Got you. What's going on? This is not the run for her nailing every single uh, <laughs> sacred flame. Lazel, now you know failure. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Hurry before they strike. Okay. Oh, oh, who just came in? Some imps. Oh, up there. I mean, oh, they're between us and our way out. Almost. Oh, one hit point. So close. Okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> yes, that was a good hit. Okay. Oh, there's some people coming in. Oh. Thank you. Be inspired. 
Quite inspiring. All right, Lazelle. You just mean fire bolt? No, it is a fiery bolt. No, not us! Not us. Take this. Your will have your no. Come a little closer. Well, then why, why do you always say that? And then run to us. <laughs> You're the one coming closer. Um you know, I think we should start leaving. Start leaving. But I got some presents to leave behind. Oh, I have one too. Did you get it? Oh, here, I'll send it to you. Yeah. There you go. Magic pockets. There we go. Ignis. We're a little close still. Okay. One more turn. One more turn. Mind Flare might get a good hit in. Okay. I'm gonna go back to collide view real quick. I'm gonna enter turn. She still has movement she can do. Amazing how much damage she did. It was great. Yep. I think this fight is beyond us, guys. <laughs> I don't know if we'll be able to kill Commander Zolk this time. I don't think so. These bullets oh, are so the hells. Alright. Yep. Well, we killed the mind player. We killed the mind uh, player. That's not who we meant to kill. That is not who we meant to kill. This way. Run. I made it, Druk. All right. This alien transponder. Uh, uh. You made it in time. Uh. Oh, so dirty. Covered in blood. Don't get brain juice from pulling the brain out of the skull. Ooh. Oh, ow! Oh, so hot. I nearly got burned. Falling! Ow! Ash! Oof! Good thing I'm dexterous. I'm not good at pulling brains out, but I can grab onto things while I'm falling. Connect the nerves. Why did she look like Barbie just then in that uh, shot? Uh, she did a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh.
all the important characters. Well, the first one was only semi-important. Mm. These ones are important. We won't tell you why. This one's very important. <laughs> Goblins and wolves. Gobbos. All the gobbos. Oh, it's me. Drak. Oh. Oh, Calliope was dangerous. I'm on to stuff. I have a theory on who that is right there. Oh my head! Ah! Oh, Drak! I'm falling. As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. See where you are. Where the hell am I? The chaos of the crash site confuses the landscape. You'll need to find a settlement or landmark, and you'll need to do it quickly. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. All right. As you wake, the tadpole squirms in oh, your skull. You're awake too. I am. I, you know, I need to make sure I am not injured, so. Other than the infection, you're more or less intact. More or less. A miracle, more given everything you've been through. But it'll all be for nothing if you don't find help soon. What the tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. Clivey. <sighs> Duruk. Did we just fall out of hell? I did. We just, we did that. We did that. We fell out of hell. We connected. I connected the nerves. The nerves, connect them. It didn't work. Where'd the brain go? Where did the brain go? It was kind of growing on me. I don't see it. It was kind of growing on me. <sighs> well, what do we think? Do you think we should uh, end here for... Uh, for today? For today? For this go around? I think we should. We uh, met Calliope and Druk. We fell out of hell. And, we uh. Connected the nerves, saved the brain. Now we're on a ravaged beach. <laughs> Screenshot. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. I like to color coordinate. Let's do a I save. What are we calling this? Let's see here. Fell out of hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fell out of hell. Great. All right. Outta have one T or two? What? Does Outta have one T or two. two? Yeah, I was looking at it. It looks wrong. Yeah. That's right. There we go. Why? I How long have we been playing? Uh, game, hour and 44 minutes. Wow. Well, if you're enjoying this so far, uh, be sure to like and subscribe and turn on the bell so you don't miss any of our future Baldur's Gate 3 uh, playthrough content. Be sure to let us know how you're enjoying it. Go check us out on Kite Cut. Check us out on Kite Cut Creations. Yeah, we're going to go now, but mm -hmm. until next time, stay cozy, be kind to yourself, and we'll play again soon. Yay! Bye! Bye.